Hello friends, today I am going to talk about zone factors that are used in calculation of seismic forces in seismic analysis. I start off with a formula given by IS1893-2016. Criteria for earthquake resistant design of structures, part 1. Part 1 is general provisions and buildings. So, in this IS code, there is a formula for calculation of design horizontal seismic position, AH, which is given by Z by 2 into I by R into SA by G, where Z in the formula represents zone factor of the city or the area which is under consideration for analysis. I represents importance factor of the structure, whether it's a hospital or a residential building. R represents response reduction factor of the structure, whether it's a ordinary moment resisting frame or special moment resisting frame. SA by G, average response acceleration coefficient, depends on the soil strata at the foundation level. In this video, I'm going to focus on what is Z zone factor, how many zones are there in India as well, why the zone factor is divided by 2 for the calculation of AH. So, what is zone? How can a zone be defined? A zone is an area that is separated from another on the basis of various restrictions in that particular area or any other limitations or in other words, distinguished from another area based on distinctive circumstances. So, in this particular slide, I have two images. On the left hand side image, there is a sign board of school. That means, that particular area has schools. So, that comes under a school zone, wherein there are number of schools. On the right hand side, it says no fly zone in the particular right image. What does that mean? That means, the aeroplanes are not allowed to fly in that particular area, may it be because of the height of the buildings present over that in, in that area. So, zones are any area that is separated from another area dependent on any particular restriction. Now, what is a seismic zone? Seismic zone is an area where earthquakes tend to focus or a seismic zone or seismic belt is an area of seismicity potentially sharing a common cause wherein the seismic forces are active in that particular zone. So, long back in 1962, Indian standards have given us the first seismic map, which was further later revised in 1967 once and again in 1970 with five seismic zones, zone 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. In 2001, there was a major earthquake in the city Bhuj of earthquake, uh, city Bhuj of Gujarat in 2001. There was a major earthquake in Bhuj city of Gujarat state, wherein there was a huge devastation of property and life. Because of that major earthquake, in 2002, the seismic map was further revised to four seismic zones. Zone 2, Zone 3, Zone 4 and Zone 5. Zone 1 was fully eliminated from the seismic map. Zone 1, the areas of Zone 1 were merged with Zone 2, the areas of Zone 2 were merged with Zone 3 and, and so on. But also in few cases, as I said, in 2001, the Bhuj earthquake, because of the Bhuj earthquake, the Bhuj which was previously under Zone 2 is now being shifted to Zone 5. So, the seismic map is developed on the experiences or the past earthquakes which have occurred in that area. The seismic zone intensity are classified as zone 2 which is a low intensity zone, zone 3 moderate intensity zone, zone 4 severe intensity zone and zone 5 very severe intensity zone. Zone 5 is the zone where in the cities or the areas are most prone to earthquakes. Around 54% of land of India is um, prone to earthquakes. Now, the next slide or the slide shows the seismic map of India. Here you can see the India has been divided into four zones. Uh, let us start with the zone 2. The blue areas, the blue areas show the cities or the areas under zone 2. Next, yellow areas mark the cities under zone 3. 
green areas mark under zone 4 and the pink areas mark under zone 5. Here you can see, here you can see the fruits earth fruits area which was under zone 2 is now under zone 5. Now what is zone factor? Zone factor is again derived from past, past earthquakes or uh, uh, pay ground acceleration. It is a factor to obtain the design spectrum depending on the perceived maximum seismic risk characterized by maximum considered earthquake in the zone in which the structure is located. So depending on the previous earthquakes, previous major earthquakes which, are, which have resulted into loss of life and property, based on those ground accelerations, the zone factor is obtained. Okay. Now, now what is MCE? Let us go further. What is MCE and what is the DBE? MCE, maximum considered earthquake, on basis of which zone factor is derived. So it is an earthquake which is expected to occur once in approximately 2500 years. That is, it has 2% probability of being exceeded in 50 years. That means, if, if I design a structure for a lifespan or for a serviceability time of 100 years, a maximum considered earthquake may occur in its lifespan or may not occur in its lifespan. Okay. Now what is design basis earthquake? It is the earthquake which can reasonably be expected to occur at least once during the design life of the structure. In general terms or in a simple terms, maximum considered earthquakes are a major or grade earthquakes, okay. grade earthquakes wherein a design basis earthquake is a moderate earthquake which may be expected to occur in the design life of the structure. Now why, why am I talking about uh, MCE and DBE? MCE, MC, MCE earthquake, there are those, those are great earthquakes or major earthquakes. Now if I design my structure for a great earthquake or for a major earthquake, I will be resulting with great forces for which I will have to develop or I will have to construct uh, huge sections which may result in uneconomical situation. But, uh, but is, it, is it sure that my structure is going to, going to face a great earthquake or a major earthquake? Maybe or may not be. So, just in case which may occur once in 2500 years, for that earthquake, I cannot invest a huge amount for the construction of the structure. Right? So, we consider design basis earthquake. So, which can reasonably expected to occur at least once during the design life of the structure. So, Z by 2, when I put the Z factor which is derived from the maximum considered earthquake, that is divided by 2 to convert a maximum considered earthquake into a design basis earthquake, wherein the forces as compared to the forces derived from maximum considered earthquake are less and, and therefore I can design in an economical situation of the uh, when I consider the cost of the project. So why Z by 2? The factor 2 in the denominator of Z is used so as to reduce the maximum considered earthquake zone factor to the factor for design basis earthquake. Now when I say I am designing for a design basis earthquake that does not mean that it is fully going to protect you or it is a full proof uh, earthquake resistant structure. But I, I really won't say that it will collapse as soon as the earthquake hits the structure. It depends, it depends on various factors, but as a structural engineer, it will be focused on that the structure will withstand the forces and will give you time to evacuate the structure in the earliest. Or further, after the earthquake, it can be rehabilitated or retrofitted again for the living conditions. Thank you for watching the video.